Don't the sports talk worldwide with some news from the world of boxing. So y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Got a little a couple of headlines for you, you know. Errol Spence Jr. versus Manny Pacquiao. About to happen. They're going to have that fight. Errol Spence Jr. ain't going to have to take a dope test. They're going to still have that fight. What about this one? You know, Jamal Charlo is going to face off with Canelo for Undisputed or for, you know, that WBC Real Championship. Charlo ain't going to have to take a dope test. But they're going to go ahead with that fight. How would you feel about that? Lomachenko, some people's number one pound for pound, going to fight Devin Haney. Devin Haney ain't going to have to take a dope test. How you going to feel about that? Right? Inui, right? The monster, going to fight Yamo Rigondeaux. Yamo Rigondeaux ain't going to have to take a dope test. How you going to feel about that? Your boy Nonito Donaire. Gonna come back feeling good about himself after that barn burner fight with Inui. Feels that he can finally rematch and take out Yamo Rigondeaux. They gonna fight. Yamo Rigondeaux ain't gonna have to take a dope test. How you gonna feel about that? How you gonna feel about that? Ask yourself. Here's one good one. Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. The trilogy match. Deontay Wilder has refused to take a dope test. Tyson Fury said, that's all right. We're gonna fight anyway. How are you going to feel about that? Ask yourself that before we go forward. Because I just read an article about Keith one time Thurman, right? Unified champ. Just lost his match to Pacquiao last year and fell into depression. And I think that's a damn shame. Fell into depression. I said it back then. Hey, man, first of all, you lost to Manny Pacquiao in a close fight. One guy had you win it, right? Close fight. You know, you got the body blow. Right, that counts for something, right? You got the you got knocked down. That's a ten eight round, a body blow for Tyson, uh, for uh, Manny Pacquiao. Sometimes Pacquiao hits you, and that round is monumental. Didn't happen to Jeff Horn. Pacquiao had Jeff Horn in round nine, and that's all everybody talks about the Pacquiao versus Jeff Horn fight. <laughs> like nothing else happened. You know, all the roughing up that happened to Pacquiao doesn't happen because he had him hurt in, in round nine. He didn't have him down, and I always try to repeat. That means that's a test to Jeff Horn's resilience. I didn't go down. I was hurt. So that means it's still 10-9. That's why it's 10-9 and not 10-8. And Jeff Horn still, in those last three rounds, was handling his business. That's why that's, I don't even know where the controversy is in that fight. Right? So, yeah, Pacquiao hit Keith Thurman. What round was it? And with a body blow. I think also round nine, if I'm not mistaken, round 10, round nine or 10, something like that. Had him with a body blow. Okay, good shot. But I didn't go down, so it was just 10-9. It doesn't have to stick in our heads like it's a 10-8 round, right? I don't real realize, I understand that uh, Keith Thurman was under, under uh, undefeated, lost that fight. Uh, you can be a little bit down about yourself, but the circumstances, circumstances surrounding that fight, you can be all right. I lost to a legend, eight division champ, which, you know, I think a few less divisions, but okay. Still eight division champ, he came way down from straw weight some damn where, you know. And his business, he's a legend. There's nothing to say. So you lost about that. But here's the thing. Bottom line is, he didn't have to take a dope test. So I was saying back then, if you keep Thurman and you drink it somewhere and somebody talking some smack, you can definitely tell him, man, whatever. I lost to a dude who didn't have to take a dope test in 2019. How the hell does that happen? Well, why'd you take the fight? You Would you take it for four million? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm going to take the fight, but I'm going to definitely complain afterwards. Unless I was given some kind of, you know, a, you know, <laughs> don't talk agreement. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to give you some disclose, like, hey, you can't talk or something. Because I don't understand why he doesn't even mention that. Neither do it, either of the articles mention that. I think that would be a huge story in some cases. With, like, for example, what I was just talking about at the beginning of this. Right? But, you know, that's that's an issue, I think. Well, we're not We're not worrying about people taking dope tests all of a sudden. So when does that happen? Right? When does that happen? As we talk about, we don't want the doping to happen. And somebody was allowed to not take a test. Now, there's a lot of money involved, but I do think that at least Keith Thurman should have had the right to be able to say that from time to time. Let's not get too far down on Keith Thurman about his performance coming off of, you know, a long layoff and not really still a little ring rush against a dude who is a legend and didn't have to take dope tests. Doesn't necessarily mean he doped. 
But damn it, that gives us a right to at least think maybe he did. Because what the hell is that all about? But nobody can mention it. And everybody will probably be upset that sees this, that you mention it. Right? But aren't we against that? That's not really what we want. So, yes, it's an asterisk next to it, as far as I'm concerned. I know not as far as the box community, because no one admit, uh, we even mentioned it. But in the box community, a lot of stuff don't get mentioned. That's what we talk about here all the time. Right? So, at the end of the day, I don't think that uh, Keith Thurman needs to be depressed. Right? He just needs to go back on it and just apply himself to his craft a little bit more. He was saying he was going for draws in the fight and stuff like that instead of going for the win. Uh, in those last rounds, in the championship rounds, he's learned from that experience, and he seems to go forward. He said he got up to about 192 pounds, man. You know what? You probably fight at 147, you know? So getting out of shape, he's still up in the 170s now, he said. So, you know, he'd have to do some work to get down and wait and get back in it, right? Or, you know, try to get undisputed and then move up to 154 or 160, whatever is going to happen. But I just don't think that the man needs to be too depressed by losing, by, uh, for losing to Manny Pacquiao under those circumstances, even though Manny Pacquiao's 41, but if you don't have to take a dope test, but who knows what's up. So you can at least say that. And I know if I was Keith Thurman, I probably would, unless I got some extra side money to not, to not do so. Because for me, that's kind of eerie. Don't you think? Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm about here, y'all.